Hi guys, it's Carlos here at uh, Carlos Diaz Vido Coaching Corner. Today uh, the video is going to be about um, why do youth team players struggle to get into their first team squads. Um, now this is a long, long, long subject, hence the reason why I've got some notes as you guys can see. Um, absolutely fantastic, um, it's, it's a really good topic. I would like to tell you um, that the topics I'm going to talk about today is mainly why players struggle to get into the uh, first team of their own clubs, whether it's Premiership football or all the way down to um, obviously amateur level. Um, what I'd like to say is, and I always say this in all my videos, please do not um, take these as this is the only way to do it or this is the only reason to do it. Um, I would love to get your feedback um, and, and basically um, really learn with you guys too. Um, that you guys are experts um, out there. Uh, would be, I'd love to hear from you guys. So today, how we're going to start is, I'd like to say first and foremost, one of, one of the main reasons is the style of play. Um, a lot of players uh, that come from the youth team levels uh, depending on what sort of level they play at. Um, a lot of times they don't understand the style of play that the first team plays. Um, now, not fall to, fall, fall to their own a lot of the times is the fact that they don't get really involved with the first team and, and sometimes it can be pretty hard for these guys to, to even understand what they do. Um, on the other side, a lot of the times they get involved with the first team but they're so in this sort of green area where um, they still haven't developed as footballers, they struggle to understand their own positions, they struggle, struggle to understand a lot of the, the, the way the, the team's trying to play and the focus really. So a lot of managers and coaches at that level sometimes think, you know, this guy hasn't developed, doesn't really offer much. Not necessarily the player it might be fantastic and he might have great qualities in the future. I might even have the qualities then, but sometimes it's just a little you know, something that's not quite, not quite there yet. So that's one of the reasons, style of play. I will go into this style of play later in the other videos, which is, I'm sure you guys will see. Um, but that's one of the reasons why a lot of guys struggle. Um, number two, um, they're, they're, taught, they're taught in a way of play um, in their youth team level, where when they get to the first team level, they don't play that lot. So basically, it's like you basically learning how to speak French Monday to Friday, you come and take a Chinese test on Saturday. Uh, that obviously doesn't work very well. Um, I have seen it and I have witnessed this where players get encouraged to play a style of football, i.e. a passing game if you like. Uh, they get to the first team and they play direct football. Or uh, they like to play a physical side uh, uh, as a youth team level and they play direct. Uh, and obviously the first team football is played through the thirds, so a lot of the times it's, 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 it's neither or. So I find like sometimes that's quite hard to, to, to kind of mix. So if a player is coming through the ranks and is trying to develop as a player and the style of play is very different, um, they really struggle to do that. So that's one of the reasons as well. Um, number three, um, obviously physical. Okay, uh, we, we know obviously football is, is a physical uh, sport, uh, but a lot of emphasis on the physical uh, side of things. Um, I'm sure you guys will, will see this video that I'm gonna, gonna do for you guys very soon about uh, a particular country in the world that really focus that don't, that really focus not to focus on this if that makes any sense. They don't, they don't really care uh, or put, when I say care, probably the wrong word. They don't put any emphasis on the size of the player, um, and you'll see what I mean by that, um, which is I think is a fantastic idea. However. It all depends on the style of play, and I always say this. I've had a long debate with many coaches um, for a long time regarding this one, because I've been in this country for so long, so I'm always very protective over, over the way that the English teams play. But there's a reason why. The reason why is a lot of people think, why, okay, you shouldn't play physical. Now, if you've got a physical team, you're gonna play physical, and I totally agree with the guys out there that play direct. If you've got that kind of team that's going to play direct and you're good to play direct, just do what you are good at. You know, and I don't criticize you for that, which I feel fantastic. But a lot of guys from other parts of the world sometimes think, oh, there's, there's no football. You know, it all depends what you believe in. It all depends, really, what your tools are, which is, again, goes back to what I said to you guys. There's many ways of skinning the cat. So that's another one, obviously, that the size of players. So some players don't really develop. So when they develop, they're not as... As, as up to the standard, if you like, or up to the size, if you like, 
of what the, the, the first team or the senior team will require. So that's one of the one of the reasons why they need to do that and to need to develop. Um, the confidence of the player um, to express themselves, uh, they've got a lack of ability to express themselves, i.e. not with the youth team players, but when they stand in front of more sort of, if you like, um, professional levels, they really struggle. Uh, that's one of the things obviously comes all with the confidence and with the flair and, and how they get taught. That's one of the big things that some, some of them really struggle. So you find players that, for instance, excel at youth level once they get into the first team level, they just disappear. So that's, that's another one and that's uh, obviously um, one of, one of the reasons why they, they, they struggle and that's number four. Now the number five is the collaborative player. Now how good that player is um, in terms of really technical and tactical ability. Do, do they have what it takes? Do they really have what it takes to learn? Uh, and that's a big one. Uh, okay. Um, now number six is to understanding of the player of, about the game. The understanding of the player about the game. Does he understand the game? Forget about styles of play, forget about methodologies, forget about ethos. Does he really understand the play? Does it, the play, does he understand the game? And, and understanding the game, not, not just understanding the game from a point of view of, well, I, I know the game, I've played the game for 15 years, not that. He's understanding what the purpose uh, of the football, of that particular club, what they aspire to do, uh, what, how they play, you know, how they how they really put um, an emphasis on the game, you know, and, and you, can, you can actually read a lot about um, each club's got their own ethos. Now, I, I've heard, I hear this one quite often, they say, oh, well, my, 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 the focus of the game is winning a football match, of course it is, um, but there's, read into this one, um, there's more to it, okay, read into this one, and there is a lot of clubs out there that have actually skimmed through that, yes, it is winning, it is winning, as Pepe Guardiola says, it is winning, but a way of winning, okay? Am I making sense? And I'm sure you guys will, will, will love to see the video that's coming up in a few weeks' time when I'm really going to go into this detail. And it's almost like a science behind it, okay? Uh, now, you might think to yourself, what's the point of having all this science? Just, just get the ball at the, at the back of the net and let's win football games. That is the end result. Now it's like going from A to Z in one step. It does. It doesn't really work, does it? You need to be able to, to, to you know, ready meals. There's, there's like a ready meal, you know. If you can do a meal from scratch, it tastes better. So that's that's what I'm going into detail in a couple of weeks' time. Now, um, understanding the the understanding of the players about the first team methodology and structure. That is another one. Now, understanding the methodology and structure. What do I, do I mean by that? Now. Uh, a lot of you guys might think like uh, methodologies and structures and ethos, it's all, uh, you know, gimmicky. It's not. Um, in, in today's football society, you'll see more and more better coaches, better managers, and they, they believe you me, and I'm not going to bore you with it, that they go into the detail of the seconds. What I mean by that is they will, they will. I mean, I'll give you an example. i actually seen a report, I'm not going to name the club, uh, a few months back, how they detail the time they arrive at the at the at the stadium, and they divide second per second. And I, I don't. I, I'm literally not exaggerating this. They measure. They measure when they do what they do. How they do it. Okay. So what I mean by that, very simply, they arrive. Coach arrives. Manager arrives. Players arrive. Ten minutes for this, ten minutes for that, five minutes for this, and it's all structured. Warm up, arrive, and they do specific things. I mean, now some of you guys might think, "Oh, but all players do that." This particular club is one of the best clubs in the world, and they focus on this because they believe uh, at the high level you need to be so structured that that matters. That matters how the team then gets ready for the football match and that more of that on another time which is i'm sure you guys will appreciate because i don't want to go into into that detail now uh, at the moment okay the uh, the training quality of the player okay now how is that player training okay is that player um you know going into training ground every day thinking you know what another day another day another day another day of uh five holes another day of doing a bit of, a bit of this a bit of that and I'll finish training half 12, 1 o'clock and there's another training session next week or, or next day but I'm not really bothered. 
uh, is how the state of mind of that player is he getting better every day is he getting better is that passion okay getting better at passing getting better at shooting scoring more goals defending better adding better is that player rehabbing well is that player learning more about his rehabilitation? Is that player learning more about his specific movements? Is that player learning more about his teammates? Is that player learning more about what the system is? Is that player learning more about movements that he specifically needs to, to, to learn? Is that player investigating who the player is playing against on Saturday, Sunday or, or, or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or whatever it is? Are they doing the right stats? Are they doing the right specifications for his particular position? All that sort of stuff. Okay, more of that, as I say, all this sort of stuff breaks down into a lot of detail and a lot of um, subjects, which is I will be more than happy to, to show you guys um, next week. Um, what, what can we offer to the first team? So what, the, what, what can these guys offer to the first team? So as, as youth team players, what can they offer? So if I was a, a first team player, or if I was a youth team player more, um, what can I offer the first team? And what, as a first team player, what can I learn from that kid? What's that kid going to show me? What, what is that kid now going to offer me? Okay, or vice versa, if that makes any sense. So have they got the really quality to, to, to get to that level? Okay? Um, and it is, it's at the end, really, that is more subjects, obviously, but one of the, the main ones is, is the first team needing to play in that particular field. You know, that if I've got three or, four, three or four midfielders, right, that peak performers, do I need another one? Okay. You know, uh, I've got you know four strikers. Do I need another one? I've got two or three wingers that can play in that position. Do I need another one? Okay, that kind of thing, really. But obviously, this is just something that I'd like you guys to understand. Now, this is a subject that are massive, okay, and they break into a lot of details. And the guys that are, are fantastic out there, I'm sure you guys will think, right, Carlos. How oh, about this? How oh, about that? And I would love to learn from you guys too. So, um, well, all I can say is, please. Um, leave some comments, uh, hopefully positive. Um, I, I'm, I'm very, as you can see, I'm very passionate about the game. I love, I love to listen to your feedback. Um, and I'll keep posting these, these videos. Now, we've got an amazing, amazing um, uh, subjects next week. Uh, I'm really looking forward to post those. Those are going to be the ones that really going to like kind of fire you guys up, especially the guys that into more detail. I will put some basic ones as well, so I don't want to like bore you with too much detail. Um, I've got some, some really good stuff on, um, on, a, on a tactical board. Uh, I've got a few debates next week, which is I don't want to go too much into detail, but I want to talk about man marking and zone marking. So I will, for the guys that are fantastic with the, with the tactical stuff, I just want to kind of like um, get some sort of feedback from you guys and say, right, okay, what do you guys think about this one? I've got... At the moment, I've got a few debates, which to be fair, I am actually trying to deal with them myself. <laughs> so it'd be great to get your feedback. But um, I will leave my email um, on a uh, on my YouTube uh, um, videos. Uh, you're more than welcome to email me, info me too. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, I'm, as I can say, obviously I'm a humble guy. Love to learn with you guys. And all I can say is thank you very much for watching my video. I sincerely say thank you. Uh, and uh, all the very best and I uh, shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.